we're looking at a trap bar or hex bar deadlift. Now a lot of people have positives and negatives to say about this. People have the impression of, well, if you're using a hex bar or a trap bar, that it's for people that are injured, people that don't have the mobility to do a normal, conventional deadlift, and some people will just write it off as, not, not for me. So that's not actually the case. By training your hex or trap bar deadlift, you can really, really assist your conventional deadlift. You'll push those numbers on and it'll be really beneficial for you. It's like training your biceps. You wouldn't just pick one exercise to train your biceps. You'll do multiple exercises to slightly hit the bicep in a different way. And that's what you're doing with this bar. It's just a different way of doing your deadlift and it will assist your overall strength. With this move, because the body is a little bit more in an upright position, it is obviously easier to keep that back nice and straight, to lock the back in, and it is a more protected position. There's also a lot more leg drive with this move, so it will help that powering off the ground the first phase of your conventional deadlift. And for anyone out there that's doing strongman, this is a really, really beneficial move because it has a great carryover onto your farmer's walk, your frame carry, or your car deadlift. So to start off with, there's two ways to do this. You can have the handles down here, which is the same level as you would do with a conventional deadlift, or you can have the handles at the higher position. The difference this is, obviously, the higher the handles, the easier the lift is going to be. So for this demo, I'm just going to use those higher handles. So we're going to start with foot position. You're going to want your feet shorter width apart and your toes pointing forward. However, you can slightly turn those toes out if that's a more comfortable lifting position for you. So you're going to want the centre of your foot along the centre line of the weight. The next step is very important. I want you to lock your back in, so squeeze your shoulders back and down before you drop down to lift the weight. Okay, this allows you to keep that back as locked in as possible rather than going down and then trying to lock in your back. So back is locked, chest is up, down, grab the handles, right in the centre of the handle. If you need to, just have a quick look down, but keep that back locked in. When you're grabbing the handle, I want you to use a hook grip. You're going to bring the palm of the hand onto the handle, wrap the fingers around and lock it in with that thumb. Now your wrist might be slightly cocked outwards, however when you lift that weight it's all going to straighten out and it'll allow you to get a lot better grip so that the bar isn't pulling at the fingers, it's actually onto the palm of your hand. Now the shoulders stay behind the knees, you're down to a slight squat position and you're going to keep that chest up, you're going to keep your head in neutral spine, brace your stomach and then push through the heels. Take a big breath again at the top and drop it down. Make sure you keep control of the bar as you're dropping it down. You don't want one weight hitting the ground before the other because it will really put you off. Also between reps it's perfectly okay to drop the bar, reset yourself and go again. Now let's look at what not to do. Now just to touch on the progression of this, if you are going to that lower handled position, it's the exact same thing, you're going to lock your back in, come down, you're a little bit further down into it, but it's the exact same cues. Brace at the bottom, back's locked in, so it's the exact same technique. So that is the progression as long as you don't have any injuries that are holding you back. So that's how to do your trap or your hex bar deadlift. Add it into your program, it will really carry over onto all of those other strength moves. Please like this video, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.